ten phrasal verbs related to love and dating. What is a phrasal verb? You ask. It's a verb phrase formed with a verb plus an adverb or preposition, and the meaning is generally idiomatic. So, if you want to improve your speaking and you want to sound more native and natural, make sure you use phrasal verbs correctly. In this video are ten phrasal verbs related to love and dating, and I know you guys will use these. All right, let's have some fun and learn along the way because that's the best way to improve your English. First phrasal verb related to love and dating is make out. Make out. Let me use it in a couple sentences before I tell you the meaning. Even better, maybe you'll figure out the meaning from the examples, and then I'll tell you the meaning, of course. Example one. For our first date, I'm taking her to see a beautiful view of the city from high above. It's where couples go to make out. Since I plan to make out with her, I won't be eating any garlic at dinner. I don't want bad breath. So, are you getting what make out means? Here's the, I suppose, dictionary definition. It's passionate kissing for an extended period of time. Often also includes unbuttoning of certain items of clothing and includes touching or rubbing of various parts of the body. I'm not going to get any more graphic, but I think you get the idea. There's also non-sexual usages of make out, but those are for another video. Let's continue. But first, I want to welcome you all to Smart and Easy English. If you want to speak English natively and naturally, you're in the right place. You have found your channel, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks. Okay, now onto the next phrasal verb related to love and dating. Put up with. Put up with. Here's an example. You're always late picking me up for dates. You go by yourself. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. Or you might say, "I'm not going to put up with your excuses about being late anymore." So, have you figured out what "put up" means? It means to tolerate, to accept. You're going to accept the excuses. Or, in the case of our examples, we're using it in the negative. You're not going to accept being picked up late for dates anymore. You're not going to accept. The excuses of why your date is always late. You won't accept them. Okay. The next phrasal verb related to love and dating is fool around. Fool around. Once again, let's start with a couple of examples. I don't expect she'll want to fool around on the first date. Yes, we did make out on the first date, but we didn't really fool around until the third date. So fool around is when two people, usually not currently in a relationship, find themselves kissing, doing oral sex, and sometimes, but not always, can refer to having sex. Sometimes fooling around is used when the details of what was actually done are unknown. I wonder if anyone else is teaching sexual phrasal verbs. But hey, this is practical English. This is the type of English you need to know to go about your life and be able to speak fluently and not feel awkward in dating situations. It's in these moments you'll be super glad you watched this video. Anyway, on that note, let's continue, shall we? Put out is our next phrasal verb. Put out. There's a joke that if a guy is paying for lobster, you know, at dinner, then he's going to expect her to put out. To which a girl might think to herself, "Oh no, I would never put out on a first date. I play hard to get." So, can you guess what "put out" means? "Put out" means to engage in sexual acts. That's it. Pretty simple. By the way, try to form some sentences using any or all of the phrasal verbs in this video. Leave them in the comments. Okay, next. Set up. Set. With a pronoun in between the words, set and up, or it could be the name of somebody. Here's an example. My friend set me up. Set me up. My friend set me up with a girl from his work, and I had a date with her. Another example. If you'd like, I'll set you up. 
I'll set you up with my best friend. I think you'll both like each other since you both love traveling. You can also add a name or names in between set and up. So for example, I'm going to set John and Francesca up. So to set someone up means to arrange a romantic encounter, to make an introduction or play matchmaker, to arrange or organize, essentially. Now, there are other ways to use many of these phrasal verbs in this video in a non-love and dating context, but we'll discuss that in a sequel to this video. Let's continue with the next phrasal verb related to love and dating. Dress up. Dress up. She wanted to look amazing for the date, so she decided to dress up. He wanted to dress up for the date, so he bought himself a new suit. Dress up means simply to wear nice clothes. Our next phrasal verb is call off. Call off. When I found out she cheated on me, I decided to call off the wedding. If you're not sure you want to marry me, we'd better call off this engagement. So call off means to cancel or abandon, such as a plan, to cancel a party, to cancel an engagement, to cancel a wedding. Next, come up with, come up with. You're two hours late for our date. Are you seriously trying to come up with an excuse? Come up with means to think of an idea or a solution, or in our example, to try to think of an excuse for being so late. She found lipstick on his shirt and it wasn't hers. She couldn't wait to hear what excuse he'd come up with. Our next phrasal verb is calm down, calm down. Honey, calm down. He's just a friend. We're not interested in each other. Or how about, there was no way to calm him down when he came home at lunch and found his wife in bed with his best friend. And you can add a pronoun or name between calm and down, just as in this example, calm him down. Or you can say, calm John down or calm Francesca down. So calm down is to relax after being in an energetic or irritated state. To calm down from being so angry, meaning to be less angry, to return to a normal emotional state. And now the last phrasal verb related to dating is fall apart, fall apart. If he insists on seeing other women on the side, I suspect his current relationship will fall apart. A marriage, even after 30 years, can fall apart if the couple doesn't continue to grow together. So fall apart means to break up when something ends, like a relationship. And you can use different verb tenses here. For example, their relationship fell apart or their relationship is falling apart. And there you have them. 10 practical and highly useful phrasal verbs about love and dating. Use them and sound native and natural when talking about love and dating. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye for now.